When it comes to questions, do people ever question your body? No, because I always post. As soon as I do a surgery, I post it. So. You've had body work? Come on. <laughs> yeah, of course. Care to share what you've had done? Um, well, you know what's so funny? When I, got my, when I first got my body done, it was about nine years ago. Um, I had the, tra the traditional BBL where they, you know, suck the fat and snatch you and put it in your butt, in your hips. Um, and then I got my breast done. But then my breasts were too big because after I had my son, I had to get a reduction because they were literally humongous. So I actually took them out, my implants. And then now I put them back in. So um, I've had I've had a few surgeries, but the funny thing is that with my body, like nobody, my body stayed like that for a very long time. Like after I had my son, I never got surgery. The only thing I did was take out my implants, but I never got lipo. I never got no surgery. Literally, my son, I don't I don't know if it was the breastfeeding or what, but my body just snapped. I was actually the smallest I've ever been with no surgery. Then recently, um, which I have posted on my social media. I went and got my mommy makeover while my son is now three. I finally was like, you know what, let me go get this. Let me get snitched. I, I, and it wasn't that I was big. I just had, like, uh, I guess, like loose skin because I was so tiny. But I guess, I don't know, you know. <laughs> because you've had a serious amount of work done over the years, and just for time reference, it's January 2021, uh, are you addicted to body work? Are you addicted to surgery? Um, I feel like people that are addicted to surgery, um, you could tell, you know? I feel like for me, um, you know, people that are addicted to surgery, they have like huge, 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 huge breasts and they just want to get them bigger and bigger. They just want to do, they're just looking for shit to do. Like they're so addicted, they're looking for shit to do. I'm not. Because after my son, I could have went and got snatched, but I didn't. I literally just stayed natural, took out my breast, and I was, like, very natural looking. But um, when I got the surgery now, it was to fix the things that prior surgeries may have fucked up. Or, um, like, my butt, like, it's like I eat and everything will go to my ass. So I actually got my butt smaller. So no, I don't think I'm addicted. Because people that are addicted are like dramatic. I literally got everything done to be smaller. My breasts are literally, if you know about breasts, 275 cc's, literally so tiny. So instead, I got things to be more proportioned instead of looking crazy. What about the teeth? What about the lips? Mm, um, I have lip injections. Everybody got fucking lip injections. Um, and my teeth, I got my teeth done five years ago. Veneers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, nothing else with the face, this is your real nose? Yeah. Real ears? No, I just got them. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> thinking back, right, mm -hmm. about all the different surgeries you've had and all the different things you've done to your body, uh, looking back, is there anything you could have done or should have done uh, to prevent maybe taking your breasts out, putting them yeah, back in, 100%. things of that nature. Go to the right, go to, do it right the first time. Because the thing about it is that, the thing about surgery is like, if you don't get it done the first time, then you're gonna have to go keep going back to get things fixed. So getting it done by the right, you're doing your research and getting it done, stop, don't be um, so anxious to get it done. So if you get it done the first time, you won't have to, Keep getting things done. Uh, also, uh, you did have a you did have a pregnancy. You had a child. Yeah. Uh, looking back, aside from getting things done the right way, was there something you could have done when you got your breast augmentation the first time? Was it a certain size you should have gotten at yeah, that time? Yeah, uh -huh. I should have definitely not. I don't know why. And but you know what? I told the doctor I wanted a small D. He gave me like a quadruple D. Like my, I woke up with the biggest breast I've ever seen in my life. And that's the thing about it. You go to sleep and you don't know what you're going to wake up. You know, you don't know what's going to happen. So um, go to the right doctor, find the right doctor, make sure that you are proportioned for your body. I'm five feet tall. I'm so tiny. And my boobs were too big. And I've always, now I'm like, I've never been so happy with the way I look, but it's because I finally got everything. I got my body done right 
the way it needed to be. And when it comes to finding the right doctor, how does one know when they found them? You gotta just do your research. Like for me, the um, the doctor that I, that finally got me to where I needed to be and what I wanted, um, she's a woman, but she she knew, like she understood. Not only did I see her work, but um, at the end of the day, you want most people want natural look. So she knew how to give me that look to where I am proportioned so that I, my butt's not too big for my body, my breasts are not too big for my body, my arms, everything is right. So I did my research in finding what I wanted. If you want to, you know, OD big boobs and big butt, that's cool too. I don't judge nobody. So if you want that shit to look OD, then fine, you know. There are people that want that. They want OD that. Look. You find that dramatic shit. I've never wanted that's that's why I literally took them out. I was literally so fed up with that and I was like, take that shit out. Cause y'all keep fucking up. <laughs> but now finally I got them perfect. When it comes to this female doctor, was this the only doctor out of all the doctors you had an operation from? Was she the only female? Yeah. Do you think her being a female yeah. had something to do with the way things look now compared to men? Yeah. Doing your surgeries. Mm -hmm. and Because I think a woman, you know, which is badass, but um, women, like a woman, I just felt like she knew, she knew what I, what I, what I should look like. Men be thinking what, everything else. So they think about what they want to see, you know?